they're not bad out of shield options. Well, it's not that he it's a bad option. It's mainly that he uses it more than he should and that the opponent react or that the opponent predicts it and adjusts to it and punishes him even harder for it. Well, and I do love his use already, pulling out the, uh, the down B, the shield absorption. Uh, very good in this. They, they made an offensive tool. It's, uh, honestly, it's the closest thing to a box shining in this game. Psy Magnet? Yeah. Is that yeah. what it is? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I learned that one a couple minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, we all learned something at some point. I had no idea it had a name like that. So, Yoshibo very good about following up when... Person's gonna, uh, you know, his opponent's going to bounce off the stage. He went for a jab block there. Or, uh, it didn't, didn't quite uh, jab reset as well, I'm trying to say. It didn't quite come out. Yeah. Well, every every car every special in this game has a has a name. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, like that's the, and, and the yo-yo. Uh, I actually don't know what that one's called. Just a yo-yo. Walk the dog? No. Oh, wow. <laughs> well. <laughs> we really... <laughs> I haven't seen anybody uh, use a footstool that effectively before in this game. That was pretty impressive. You know, 95% of all footstools are accidental, so I'd love to know how intentional that was. But yeah. Brilliantly played. Either we'll, way. we'll say that we'll s we don't have to leave that fact in when we're talking about my footstools. <laughs> 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 Sometimes they're really good, and then I just I don't I don't own up to it that it was just an accident. <laughs> yeah. But why would I? <laughs> exactly. You know, it was like carrying. So this is where the, you know, Yoshiro definitely took advantage of TM4's aggression there. But I tell you what, I mean, he's, he's very solid with keeping these aerials out, knowing exactly what to, you know, how to space that. The dash attack he uses very well. Are you talking about TM4 or Yoshiro? TM4, yes, yes. sorry. Um, and, you know, even, even using his back air to get through the eggs, I was very impressive, actually. Look at that, he didn't shy away. I mean, as Ness, you'd be a little bit afraid of being stuck out. That was there, a very well-timed parry. Yeah. Doing pairs like that in this game is much harder. Or well, it's it's a much different timing than in previous Smash games because you have to not time for when your shield is happening, but you have to time in prediction of when the projectile will hit. Now that that there was definitely a mistake. I mean, you, PM4 just sat there charging his down smash, kind of hoping Yoshi Bro would go for the ledge or come into it. And most definitely. Up, so you gotta you, you gotta be careful about the hard roots like that. I think he got into the trap of well, I'm holding it now, so I'm just gonna keep holding it and hope yeah. he jumps in. Oh yeah, we all do that. But yeah, you got you gotta. <laughs> you you just have to not make the mistake in the first place. You're gonna get punished for it. So this is pretty even at this point. Again, yeah, TM4 is easy. Oh, here we go. Back so there's another back throw, throw. from TM4. Yep. He's getting a lot. He's been getting a lot of kills today with back throw. Well, yeah, that's how Ness gets his kills for the most part. Like yeah. That or uh, up air. So. Oh well, he's also air. been getting quite a few up airs. Oh yeah, no doubt. Uh, something that I haven't seen him oh, do so a whole ton. Wow. Okay. So Yoshi knew saw that coming. Yeah. Again, his, his aggression. He he doesn't go for ledge. He'll come up and he'll bear you, and he's he's not afraid to land right next to you. Something that I've noticed about TM4, training TM4's play today is, uh, a lot of the time when he's playing, he'll be able to get a, um, combo or a string with his up B and then using, uh, hitting them off stage with it and then uh, use doing like an up air or other moves uh, because it knocks them in towards and in, uh, up and in. Yeah, that was very close on that up air, speaking of which, he almost got his, uh, yeah. his tail that way. But again, just keeping the aerials out there, make it very difficult for Yoshiko to approach. He was sitting there waiting for that. I just couldn't get the dash attack in. So I have to ask, um, so Yoshi's shield is obviously, Here, it obviously lasts a little. Holding that, holding that down smash, or maybe it was an, that was an up smash. Either way, it's kind of a mistake of hoping they'll run into it. You know, you keep playing your game. There you go, neutral out of shield. Didn't you say that was a bad idea? Well, he does it too much in a lot of situations, no, although obviously no, there it was. See it. Yeah, no, he, he hasn't been doing it. I, I don't think the situations have come up, but uh, the last time he played against Dame, there were quite a few situations where he... Okay. Where he got punished. So what was your question earlier about um, Yoshi's shield? So Yoshi's, like Yoshi's shield obviously lasts a lot longer in this compared to previous games. Mm. Uh, or at least compared to 4, which is what this is most similar to. Because it seemed like in 4, it, it would you could see the color changing. Yeah, in Smash 4, he had a soft-boiled egg, and in this, it's hard-boiled. Yes. Um, so are difference. there any other changes to his shield that I should be aware of? Um, I just told you the most important one. Yeah. 
right, so <laughs> rematch. How many matches in a row have we seen on PS2? Um, too many. <laughs> too more. Too more. Than too many. Okay, so Yoshi Bro uh, seems to maybe have figured something out here between uh, almost uh, pulling off the zero to death. My goodness, that has been brutal for the uh, board to try to kind of. There we go. So this is down on the board. All right, so he, again, uh, you know, the, the aggression uh, from Yoshi Bro there, that, you know, Tian was having a hard time getting into it, but this is where he's comfortable is, uh, well, he got knocked out of it by Yoshi Bro, but again, once, once he can, in that first match, it was all about just kind of keeping him pinned um, by throwing those, those aerials out using the, you said it was the side magnetic storm, but there he tried to do a neutral out of the field. That didn't work. I think it's interesting how this game, Yoshi Bro seems to be playing a lot more aggressive towards the ledge um, when he has stage control and when TM4 is uh, in the air. Yeah, I think he just isn't holding back with the aggression um, in neutral. I don't think TM4 has to do that, but he recovered like a pro. That was a good recovery, especially against uh, Yoshi Bro. Yoshi Bro is very good at, at punishing yeah, mistakes yeah, off stage really like that. Have, but it's also pretty risky to go in the last time something you felt like you had to like were doing that. Great air dodge to get through that attack. But, yeah, uh, Yoshi Bro definitely uh, doing something wow. this time. Wow. That was... That could have been something. That could have been a shield break right there. <laughs> yeah. They tried to bop him up with that board air and grab him, but Yoshi Bro pulled away with the DI. Yeah. The movement in this game reminds me a lot of PM, and some of the ways that hits work, like you just saw Ness's up air um, spiked into the ground. Yeah. Um, and that's something that a lot of. Oh yeah, wow, that was a using the arrow to get through the egg, and then in that case, he held the headbox out there long enough. Uh, got the KO, but. Yeah, PM4 is just going to need some magic here. Yeah, Yoshi Bro was waiting for that bear to, but he didn't, didn't quite grab the, uh, <laughs> what he wanted with the up smash, or, or to forget what he used now. There we go, get some PK fires. So safe. You know, TM, he's so smart with those, the spacing. He does space incredibly well. And there, y Yoshi, you know, just holding the shield out there that long, waiting, waiting for that four tilt from Yoshi Bro was... Very patient, very good. You know, she broke, probably could have punished a little better than that, but. There we go, back there. So, so Yoshibro is at mid percent on this on his second stock. He had made up ground on that, but probably didn't get quite enough, especially, uh, wow, that one combo almost catching him up with 49% damage. Don't, don't get caught in the Yoshi down here. Oh, the, the jab, jab block? Set, um, but. Went for a down tilt out of it. But maybe that's all he felt like he had time to get. Do you think that was a tech club, or do you think he had something else in mind afterwards? Uh, after the down tilt? Well, it's possible. I don't know. He was high enough damage that there wasn't really much to follow up with. I think that maybe he didn't go. Wow, nice up smash. Um, I nice think that maybe the reason smash. he didn't go for more hits in the jab lock for more damage was because he was worried that TM4 would SDI off stage. Or uh, in general. No, no. I. You know, I guess we'll never know. I, well, you can do. Do you think they're gonna go back to stadium? I mean, they both won there, so technically neither are oh, allowed wait. to go back That's to stadium. Good. Finally, we see a different stage <laughs> after <laughs> like Pokemon six Pokemon. games. Yeah, and ta you know, it's Smashville. Wait, this is Town City, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Never mind. Well, I was about to make a brilliant comment about Smashville, but we'll just have to hold it. Hope they go to Smashville. Yeah, oh yeah. I want to hear the comment. Now this is, wait a second. So TM busting out the Pokemon trainer when he actually won a match with that. So this will be interesting. That's very interesting to me. Yeah. Oh, there's Ivysaur. So I haven't seen his trainer, his Pokemon trainer at all. So I don't know if it's something that he plays frequently or. We're going to find out if it's ready for prime time. This is you know, sometimes the only way to know. Is by. Well, bust him out in a uh, bringing it out. But winners <laughs> finals. The <laughs> winners finals of the match. Oh, well, hey! For all we know, he's been using it all tournament. That's true. He could have been using it every time he wasn't on stream. <laughs> Mr. Crow, that was really move. So I don't know. We'll call that the, the dinosaur bomb. I have no idea what the down B is with Yoshi. 
I said every special has them. Alright, nice up so, smash by Yoshi Bro to catch him out. You know, Ivysaur, if you're if you're going to do well with Pokemon Trainer, it's, it's all about Ivysaur, obviously. He's already brought him back out, but I don't know, I'm not I'm not seeing it. I think it's really interesting how um, TM4 is staying on Ivysaur even when his switch option is Charizard, which a lot of people consider to be the worst character for Pokemon Trainer. Um, and also a lot of people consider Squirtle to be the best. No. Although in this matchup, oh, that was a great! Wow, that just caught him up by having a near the ledge combo or a back throw for the KO. That's awesome. I do think in this matchup, Ivysaur is the right choice, but traditionally, uh, Squirtle's going to go for the low percentage combos to try to get you up. Um, Ivysaur is going to be pretty much your best option for everything else, and then Charizard's the unfortunate one that you have to bust out for a recovery <laughs> when, when Ivysaur gets knocked out too far. Yeah. Or when when you can want to just grab them and then throw them and then they die. <laughs> yeah. See now, now again, Ivysaur's got so many tools with that up air almost KOing Yoshi Bro at 99%. So anyway, and we're already, believe it or not, um, TM4 has the percentage edge. So nice parry. Gonna win this projectile war. And, you know, that was Yoshi Bro tries to read him, but uh, Ivysaur wasn't falling fast enough for that. Oh, he pummeled too much. I don't know that the back air would have killed or back throw would have killed him. It's entirely possible he wanted to save the stale moves on it. Just let him bust out. I'm not sure if Yoshi Bro um, mashed a lot. Oh yes, he is mashing quite a bit. Oh yeah, yeah, no, he, he waited his way out. I just <laughs> switch to Charizard and uh, take the uh, take the KO. Charizard. Uh, I think he, he explodes a lot more than anybody else. <laughs> I would rather lose with Charizard, come back with Squirtle. Lose with Ivysaur, come back with Charizard. Oh, so that hit the egg, I think. Okay, wow. this Charizard's busting out some damage. Yeah, he is uh, doing a lot of work with this. Um, Yoshi Bros can't get the kill on it. I'm a little surprised that. Okay, there we go. So do you think he's staying on Charizard because of the weight of Charizard? Or? No, he's staying on Charizard because, again, the smart money says come back as Squirtle and really bust out some quick moves. We're going to see him switch to Ivysaur really fast here as soon as he kind of breaks out of a... Uh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, again, the, the yeah, TM4, is, he, he's going to go for a, you know, this is the same type of thing. I, again, Ivysaur just has too many tools. He can he can rack up damage from a distance with the projectiles, keep people coming in at you. And then you got the down air spikes, the uh, potential for up airs, even the recovery options. The up the up B, I believe, is the the vine whip upward that can scare people. So, but I tell you what, Yoshi Bro has brought this back despite being down by 60% at the start of the stock. Yeah, this is a very very close game, and the winner of this game. Um, Will be at a very or very advantageous position because even if the other person brings it back, they won't have any counter. They won't. They will be getting counter picked. Oh, that was a mistake. Don't want to bullet see there. And he just hit him with the egg off the edge. He was I think drifting. that was Nair. I think huh? he hit him with Nair. I think he threw the egg to cover his options and then Nared him. Oh, my bad. I didn't see that. Well, I'm, nobody did. It was off the edge. No. <laughs> It was very, very good option coverage by Yoshi Bro because he threw out the egg to cover yeah, if he went yeah. down, and then. Well, and I, and and, he, and TM drifted backwards with Ivysaur, which you know, I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty, but yeah, yeah, that was pretty risky, especially with Ivysaur's limited recovery. Uh, We've almost that's, seen that's uh, not Charizard over yet. get busted out. That's, that's not but, over yet. Uh, very good on Yoshi Bro to bring it back. It's on that. I'm going to bust his five. He definitely fell down pretty Is hard and took a lot of damage from Charizard, so managed to pull it out. Yoshi. All right, so we're back to uh, good old TM Nest. Three, two, one, TM4, of course, pulling out the TM O block tag. <laughs> Um, missing the reference? It is a long story that I don't really want to go into on stream. Yeah, good call. All right. <laughs> so, to the match. Wow, yeah. Yoshi Bro so, Yoshi Bro no gets... Time in uh, SD? Huh. 
Uh, he got hit after and didn't have his um, yeah super armor. Well, you know, again, um, this, this is what we saw in match two. Just really, really aggressive play by Yoshi Pro. I feel like in the first match with TM1, um, he really controlled spacing, and Yoshi Pro was hesitant to get in there and engage. Just leave it. Um. So I think Yoshi Pro was being a little, uh, playing a little bit too aggressive off when he gets TM4 off stage because TM4 is still going to uh, be able to recover most of the time, and uh, Yoshi Bro is he's he died his, he lost his first stock at a very low percent and he took some damage this stock because of the same thing. So this is when TM shines when he's got just the control of the stage and Yoshi Bro is just kind of on it back on his heels almost it feels like. Oh, he bounced out of the back air so he didn't get the KO. The momentum is definitely in TM4's favor. There's back air that prevents it, so. Alright, well, but can TM take advantage of this? We've seen really both of them do some pretty Nice back air. Nice back air. <laughs> <laughs> um... TM4 read the roll and got the back air and killed because of it, so he's oh wow, that's a full stock ahead of Yoshi Bro. I guess at that point that's when you bust out the uh DK pulse. <laughs> okay, you got three quarters out, so I wish you was named the punch. It's so easy when the uh you know player's name matches the player's name. Yeah, Yoshi Bro. <laughs> going for those pulses. There we go, shine. Good up B, good recovery by TM4. It's hard on Lila, but... Yeah, that's no doubt why... Uh, wait, no, he counterpicked He counterpicked here. I wonder <laughs> why he did that. I think a lot of... A lot of... Wow. Landed a back so I think, on that. Right. TM4 is taking Yoshi Bro to game five here. I think that's a really interesting counterpick choice for TM4. Well, okay, so, you know, Yoshi came out really swinging, and it was... He racked up a bunch of damage, ended up SDing out of that, and from there, TM was able to con you know, control the stage, control the spacing, and Yoshi's early aggression, he just wasn't able to keep get back into that groove. I, I definitely think it was a good it was a good stage choice. It's just kind of strange for Ness to pick that stage. Uh, this game we're going to I think it was Kalos. It was one of it was either Kalos or Nova. I couldn't see. Um, it's either that or FD or Battlefield or possibly Smashville. Ho let's hope for Smashville so we can make my brilliant comment. <laughs> oh, the world may never hear the comment I've played. I'll so find somebody who's willing to go to Smashville for your comment. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so Yoshi bringing us here, interesting, with the, I guess with the platform positioning. It's very open in the middle. Gives Yoshi more options for getting in on Ness's uh, attacks. Already, again, we're seeing some strong aggression. I think maybe this choice was primarily because of the openness and not because of the platforms well, on the well, side. He could have gone to FD. I'm not sure if there are bands and best of fives in here. Um, uh, there might be, because at some of the tournaments that I've been to for Ultimate, there were. Yeah. So. See, again, this is where... It let TM control stage there. Now that platform is going to be tough for TM to do much with. I don't think I've seen him actually connect with an egg. And it doesn't absorb eggs, right? He can absorb eggs. He can absorb any projectile. Oh, is any projectile in this game? Uh, I believe so. Well, that would I can't think of any exceptions, really. Uh, except for Link's bomb, he can't explode it. Or he can't uh, absorb it unless it's being detonated. Sure, yeah. Very uh, initial start. Well, Yoshi missed an opportunity to punish that. Get a full jump. Kind of already caught, caught in the middle of that. I think it's any projectile eight. that can't be held. Oh, see now that. Might have done it because Yoshi Bro did not get his jump back. 
TM4 at very high percent here, but a and good. without stage control. Gutsy moves pulling out the uh, PK Thunder just kind of raw. PK Fire, I didn't say that right. PK. Oh, yeah. Right there, yeah. All right, so we are set. Two stacks, two stacks. More fairs. Oh, oh, tries to go for the. Third. He tried to go for PK Fire there. Oh, is that what it's about? Yeah. I it well, it, if you don't DI the correct way, it will work. This is at, at every appearance of the end of destroying there for a while, and <laughs> it's already uh, Yoshi Bro's percentage lead. I, think I don't think he really hit him with much and all that. The fairs didn't really do much damage, didn't fully connect with any of them. I think TM4 has been playing better every game since the second um, than the previous game. Because uh, in game two, it was fairly close. In game three, it was very, very close. Um, and then last game, he oh, won. Oh, back area. That was beautiful. That was a very good back area. timed it just right. So this is... Yoshi Bro's last stock, or well, potentially Yoshi Bro's last stock in winner's side. Um, well. TM4 is close to kill percent. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, this is still usually anybody's game. I thought that would have killed. Thompson it was close. Oh, whoops. If I get the KO, all right, so we're. He tried to footstool him there, but he didn't get it in time. Yeah. Yeah, so he is going for an intentional. Oh yeah, see, using that neck bolster as a shine. But. All right, so we're both down to last stock. Kim was able to rack up 35% damage, but Yoshi Bro looking at again, kind of coming right in on him. Yoshi Bro is playing a lot better um, right now than he has been for some other points during the set. I think he's uh, trying very, very hard to win this. <laughs> Oh, good. I'm glad he's trying. But, you know, wow. Just, uh, everybody's just throwing, throwing out their area. Oh! Wow! The spike. Oh, and it, it, he got it back, though. Ness, Ness's jump was able to recover out of that. Yeah, this is just, uh, you know, neither, neither side is backing out. It's... All about getting this uh, as much I mean, attacks out per second as possible. It's almost dead even now. Yeah. Yoshi Bro, it, it's just he, he's trying so hard to get in on Ness's attacks there. Um, you know, that mag pulse just throws off the timing and the spacing, plus it throws off a hitbox and allows him to attack out of it. So, like there, he's able to throw the forward air out. Yoshi Bro didn't have an option to get in. I think TM4 is fishing for back air too much, although he just hit it. Commentator's anti-curse in that case. 